I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about polar coordinates. In problem number 15, we'd like to express the polar coordinate 3 pi over 4 in Cartesian coordinates. Now first of all, just to get a feel for what we're doing here, let's just take a quick look at what this would look like in the xy plane. Here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis. Uh, my angle is pi over 4, so that's my angle off of the x-axis. This is pi over 4. And then I go out three units, one, two, three, and here is my point. So first thing that I see right off the bat when I look at this point, which is three pi over four, is the x coordinate and the y coordinate better be positive, right? This is a positive x value, this is a positive y value. Second thing I need to remember is how do I convert in between Cartesian or rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. We have some formulas that we know, and the formulas that are going to help us in this case are the following. That we know that x <coughs> is equal to r cosine theta. And we know that y is the same thing as r sine of theta, okay? This is what's going to help me get my x and y coordinate for Cartesian coordinates is make this conversion. Because I know what r is. r in this case is the first piece of my polar coordinate is 3. And theta is pi over 4. So if I want to know what my x coordinate is here, my x coordinate is going to be r, which in this case is 3, times cosine of theta, and theta is pi over 4. Similarly, y is equal to r, which is 3, sine of theta, which is pi over 4. All right, uh, so now we just compute this, and we get that x is equal to 3 times the cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, and over here, sine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2. So we end up with the polar coordinate x, y, which is equal to, well, x in this case is 3 root 2 over 2, and y is also 3 root 2 over 2. Both of those are positive. Uh, and if I kind of look at this thing, if this is out three units this way, this should be just a little bit less than three, a little bit less than three, and that's exactly what I have here, so it even seems right. So here is my answer.